Hello people of YouTube, Andy here, and once again, we are playing Kathy Rain. It's been about a day or two since I last played it, actually. Uh, I finished Murder, She Wrote, uh, which you are going to love. And then, uh, Haunted Hotel has been finished up. I finished it at like 2 a.m. in the morning. It was amazing. I mean, it was okay, but... Uh, so that will be up either on Saturday, I think. Saturday or Sunday. Hey, uh, Kathy, wait. What? Do you eat foot? I, I mean, food? Absolutely not. I feed on human misery. Me too. I, uh... Relax, Lenny. Yes, I do eat food. Oh, well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? No. And also buy food for me? And, and then maybe... We oh, can Jesus. eat the food together? No, God, no. Absolutely not. I, actually, I'd rather eat a foot. I'm really busy right now. Maybe later. Oh, okay. See ya. Bye, loser. I mean, Lenny. Uh, let's go back to Grandma's house. I'll try to move the cursor oh, out of the way. Oh, hello, dear. Let's talk to Grandma. Which reminds me, I should talk mind to my grandmother. Mind if I talk for a bit, Grandma? <laughs> Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Uh. I got the dictaphone already. I don't think there's anything else in there I need to mention to her. Wait, what was I... Well, Norma. gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. Can I... I got the dictaphone already. Okay. Uh... Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting closer to finding the source. I have a theory, but I need help. I'm gonna have to involve somebody else. Awesome. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, let's talk to Grandma again. Mind if we talk? Not at all. Would you mind if I took a look in the attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome, dear. Be careful now. Grandma's trying to kill us in the attic. The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. Okay. So, what we do now is go to this and we take the bulb. Free light bulb? Score! The bulb looks burned out. Okay. Uh... Combine the light bulb. Nothing. The Obviously. Uh... There we go. There we go. Uh, wait a fucking copy me, Kathy. Uh, I'm gonna sue your ass now. Various books and office supplies. Nothing in particular catches the eye. I left her a voice actress. Can we take the book? I keep thinking... I've been playing fucking uh, Haunted Hotel so much that I'm expecting the inventory to pop up.
Okay. I remember the briefcase had a lock on it. Oh no, okay, so... Three red roses, one blue violet, and two yellow daisies. Okay, okay, uh, let's see. Three red roses. Nineteen... Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't remember this puzzle at all. Uh, uh, maybe this one? Hang on, guys. I have to cheat real quick. Walk through. Okay. Uh, three red roses. One, uh, blue daisy. Um, um. Okay, so according to this walk through, it's two, three, five, one, whatever. We're just gonna put it in. Two, three, oh wait. Five, one. Yeah! Oh, sorry, Kathy. Take that. Is there anything? No, of course not. Why would there be? Uh, no. Let's see what's in here. There were two pictures, a newspaper clipping, a key, and a tape inside. Okay, uh... Grandpa in uniform with two other men. Something is handwritten on the back. Flight training. McConnell Air Force Base, 1941. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tragic drowning in Conwell Springs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In early morning on Sunday the 14th, a teenage girl found dead near Conwell Lake. The girl is survived by her mother, father, and younger brother. The funeral service will be held at Conwell Cemetery on the 21st of July. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The notice is dated July 15th, 1975. Tragic story. I wonder why Grandpa saved this. Grandpa was a creep. Uh. You've reached the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Rude. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways... I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call, don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. Joseph, you there? It's me, Cocky. Uh, it happened to me too. And I'm not going to tell any of those bastards. They got it all wrong. You're the only one I trust now. 
Just call me back as soon as you can. Hmm. I wonder who this cocky is. All right, come on, Grandma. Let's go see what you know. Oh, man. Okay. Mr. Bear! Oh, how did you get all the way up there? Aw. I have my teddy bear still. I've had him since I was five, so about almost 20 years. I'm really old, you guys. I'm kidding, I'm not that old. I feel old. Oh, my, hello. My bones ache. Mind if we talk for a bit? Not at all, dear. Can you tell me anything about McConnell Air Force Base? It's not very far from Conwell Springs. Joseph was stationed there for some time during the war. Which war? I believe they're still training young pilots there today. So when did Grandpa enlist in the Air Force? Oh, it was barely past the honeymoon when Joseph left to fight in that terrible war, together with his best friend Charles and my brother Andrew. Those were You'll probably see that years. on the screen. I was so worried I thought I would burst. Every short visit from Joseph was a joy, but he kept going back to the front, to my great dismay. When I told Joseph about being pregnant with your father, he finally realized that enough was enough. He had done his duty. Shortly thereafter, he returned to a quiet farmer's life in this very house, helping your great-grandfather with the crops until he passed. Does the nickname Cocky mean anything to you? Sounds vaguely familiar. It reminds me of the aviator call signs Joseph and his friends gave one another. Joseph was vigilante. I can't count the number of times he got into trouble for breaking the rules. To this day, I have no idea how he always managed to land on his feet. <laughs> Must be hereditary, given the things I've gotten away with. Every time I wake up, I am genuinely surprised that I'm not in jail. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad, dear. But to get back to the subject, you don't have any idea of who this cocky is? I'm afraid not, but the Air Force might be a good place to start. Maybe. Uh, cocky call sign. Do you know anything about a young girl drowning around here? Oh, yes. It was the saddest thing. She was only 16. We never really knew the family. They preferred to keep to themselves. Do you remember the name of the girl or her family? I'm awfully sorry, dear. I, I just can't recall. That's okay, Grandma. I was just wondering why Grandpa would have wanted to save this. Joseph was always affected by the tragedy of others. Perhaps he wanted to do something for the family. In any case, he didn't speak to me about it. Okay. Bye, Grandma. Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. I kind of would like to see more point-and-click adventure games. Uh, These should come in handy when a small... I do have one. I do... I really want to play Read Only Memories. I played it during the summer. Uh, but, um, I couldn't really beat it. Nope, couldn't find it. It's a phone book. I should be able to use this. Uh, oh, wait. Alright, no got it. Alright, let's go and call. Nope, couldn't find it. How can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Do you recognize the aviator call sign, Cocky? Afraid not, ma'am. I know all the call signs here, and I'm positive it's not one of them. This isn't current, though. It might have been used as early as World War II. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
We don't keep any official records of call signs. The only option I can think of is to get a hold of somebody who was around back then. Any suggestions? The only person I can think of who is still alive would be Charles Wade. The billionaire? He was stationed at McConnell? He was, up until the point when he founded Wade Industries in the 60s. All right, thanks. My pleasure, ma'am. Anything else I can help you with? Uh... Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? I know that he was no longer stationed here at the base at that time. He'd left the Air Force decades earlier. But as a Conwell Spring citizen, sure, I've heard the rumors just like everybody else. How he was found by the sheriff all messed up, walking out of the woods with some kind of unexplained brain damage. Any theory as to what he was doing out there? I'm afraid not, ma'am. But I'm positive that it had nothing to do with this base or our operations here. Okay. What can you tell me about his service at McConnell? Well, Joseph Rain is a legend around here. His pile of metals weighs more than my car. I was fortunate enough to meet him before he suffered his injury, and I must say, what an inspiring man. I'm positive that he would have made general if he'd stuck around. Any idea of why he quit? He looks so happy in the pictures from the war. Oh, your family, ma'am? Granddaughter. Well, then I'm sorry for your loss. I heard about his recent passing. Appreciate it, buddy. So, about him quitting. I shouldn't speak ill of the dead, but some say the war broke him. PTSD. Me? I don't think so. When I met him, he had this aura about him, like he wasn't afraid of anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe it was just guilt. He ended a lot of lives, but that's just me speculating. Gotcha. Thanks for the thoughts. Mm. All right, okay. that's all. Goodbye, ma'am. Bye. I wonder if I can call Eileen. See if she answers. Eileen, pick up the phone, hi, bitch. This is Eileen speaking. Hey, it's me, Kat. Oh, hi, what's up? I'm trying to track down this young girl who drowned in the lake here. Okay. How hard can a dead person be to track down? They tend to stay in one place, you know. Bitch. Ah, very funny, E. I don't even know her name, just when she died. Oh, well, there must be some way to connect a name to that date. Oh, yeah, yes. maybe. Cemetery with the newspaper clipping. I'm trying to contact Charles Wade. You know, the industrialist? Wow, really? Why? It's complicated, but he knew Grandpa back in the day. They went to war together. Huh. Must be super hard to get in touch with a person like that. Uh, yeah. I'm finding that out. Maybe you could ask someone in the Air Force. If he used to serve with your granddad, I mean. Yeah. Could be worth a shot. Mm. I don't need to ask her about that. Okay. Okay, yeah. I thought I could okay, ask her. Okay, gotta go. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. I thought I could ask her about something else. Uh, let's go pay a visit to the cemetery. I love the sound of rain. It's my favorite thing in the world. To the cemetery. Tombstones. Nope. 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 All right. Oh, sorry. Shit. I wonder what that kid is doing here all alone. Hey kid. Hi yourself. 
What are you doing? None of your business. Huh. I like you, kid. You're not here alone, right? Where's your mom? Oh, she's around. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need thumbnails. I don't see her. You must be blind or something. I'll go look for your mom, okay? Don't go anywhere. Whatever. Sorry, no, I... Uh, if I do it in the, um... Uh, whatchamacallit? If I go to my editing program and try to take a snapshot of it, it uh, comes out really small. I'm hoping it doesn't do the same right here. No reason to go in. I shouldn't leave while that kid is alone. Unfortunately, Kathy, I would tell them. Actually, I wouldn't leave. I felt too guilty. Fuck you, go. Kid? Guess he found his mom. I'm gonna find out what happened to you, Grandpa. I promise. The grave is brimming with flowers. I never thought I'd return to this place. Pitch me there. Go back to grandma's house. Oh. Mind if we talk for a bit? Not at all. I found out that the drowned girl's name was Lily Myers. Ring a bell? Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? Sue, old. Jack, oh, and their children, Lily and Nathan. Do they still live around here? Mother and son do. I, I see them in town from time to time. They live somewhere near the lake. But not the father. Jack, was it? No. He disappeared not long after Lily took her own life. Whoa, she killed herself. That's news to me. Oh, that girl had been troubled for years. Truman made an official statement later. It was no accident. I see. Do you know how I can reach the family? Not really, dear. Like I said, they tend to keep to themselves. What can you tell me about Charles Wade? Well, I do know he has made quite a name for himself since he and Joseph went to war together. Apparently, he came up with some brilliant piece of engineering for the airplanes. They use it everywhere now. Any idea how to get in touch with him? I'm afraid not, dear. I haven't seen him for years. He and Joseph grew apart before you were born. Any particular reason for that? Oh, uh, not that I know of. Mm-hmm. Uh... I don't see a reason. Okay, well, I guess that's Bye, all Grandma. we have. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. Where do we go now? I don't remember where to go. Can I go home? She. Share station, maybe? I don't know what they would know. Various notices and... Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Hey, Lenny, could you check the files for a police report? A girl who drowned around here, Lily Myers? I'd love to help, Kathy, but you better check with the sheriff first. Ugh. Fine, I'll do that. Fuck the sheriff. 
Do you know the Myers family? Supposed to live somewhere near the lake? Aren't they the ones whose daughter drowned a long time ago? Yeah, that's right. Might recognize them if I saw them, but that's about it. Well See ya! Ugh, let's go deal with this asshole. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. Do you know anything about a drowning here in 1975? Young girl named Lily Myers? That case was handled by Truman. I wasn't involved. I don't need to ask. I don't need to ask. I don't need to ask. That's all for now. Good. That's not good. Okay, uh... No, uh... Shit. Hey, Sheriff. What's the deal with that bum? What bum? The one in the cell. Oh, I thought it was with you. Well, shit. How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. What do you know, Mr. Bum? Hey. I don't remember, I don't remember his name. Uh, could you distract? Sure, right. Good to know. Guess what? He's having some kind of fit in there. <sighs> Not again. Sorry. Here we go again. I like how the sheriff okay, is really oblivious. There's gotta oblivious. be something in here about Lily Meyer's death. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, emergency services are called by a resident near Conwell Lake who reports that a young female, approximately 16 years old, has been found dead floating in the water, presumably drowned in the lake. Officers arrive at the scene, EMT is en route, uh, delayed by fog. The body is fully clothed and there are no apparent signs of foul play incident declared as a likely accident. A sweep of the residence reveals a suicide note matching victim's handwriting. Witnesses report earlier mental health problems. EMT finally arrives. The girl is declared dead by medical personnel and transported to the city morgue. Coroner's report received cause of death is determined to be drowning. No exterior signs of struggle. Suicide confirmed. What a way to go. Hmm. Looks like somebody did a Virginia Wolf. I wonder if there's more to it. Wow. Anything in I the I got desk? the key already. I already got the report. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh wait, no, you dumb idiot. Get your ass over here. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time. Sure thing, man. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. And? He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Bitch, try me. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. Plead with him, pretend to be a cop. Uh, I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Hmm. I can see that you're actually calling from the station. You say you're a cop? You don't sound like a cop. Uh, ignore his doubts. Threaten to report him. Accuse him of being sexist. Let's go with that one. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just because I'm a woman, right? Women don't belong in law enforcement? Is that what you're saying? That's so sexist. Now that's hardly what... 
Do you have any idea what I have to go through every day? Nobody takes me seriously. The dirty looks, the sexual innuendos, I've... Relax, okay? I'll check the files. <laughs> it's 555-7641. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Hi, this is Kathy Rain. I'm calling for Charles Wade. He doesn't live here anymore. What's this about? What do you want with my father? I'd just like to have a quick word with Mr. Wade. It's about my grandfather, Joseph Rain. You're 20 years late, girl. My father has neither time nor energy to deal with you people. You but people. This conversation is over. Unless my father explicitly says he wants to talk to you, it's not going to happen. What a stuck-up, overclass witch. Well, she hasn't heard the last from me. I'm going to talk to that old man one way or another. Hell yeah. Alright, uh, I guess this is where I, I shall end this episode of Kathy Rain. How the hell did I save? Okay, there we go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I love Kathy Rain. I thought it was an amazing game. If not a beat, a beat. A bit weird <laughs> towards the end. Uh, until then, I'll see you all in the next video. Have fun, be safe, and enjoy yourself. Bye for now.